Hey friends, what's going on? Welcome to a brand new series on how to use emails to run your no-code business, your no-code marketplace or directory. In this series, I'm going to be taking you over the email marketing tools that I use to run the Unicorn Factory. We're going to be diving into two email marketing tools, one being MailerLite, the other one being MailerSend. And I'm going to show you why I use two different email marketing tools and how I implement them with my workflows. Okay, so there are quite a few things that we're going to be covering in the upcoming videos. We're going to start off with a high level overview of what the difference is between MailerLite and MailerSend. And I'm going to answer the question why I use two different email marketing tools in the first place, because obviously, ideally, we want to use the least amount of tools possible. But there's actually a very good reason why we use both of them. And I'm going to be exploring that in this video. So definitely stick around to the end. As soon as I have answered that question, we're going to be diving into each individual tools and I'll show you the most important things that you can do with it. So we're going to start off inside of MailerLite and we're going to be going over some common workflows that you'll typically use MailerLite for. For example, how do I add a person to a mailing list or even a group inside of a mailing list when they join my website? And so we're going to be going over that. I'm also going to show you how you can update or remove people from your mailing list. So if, for example, someone can their membership on your site or they unsubscribe then you'll be able to set up a workflow that automatically removes them or if they do things like update their email address or other relevant information you'll also be able to update that now i'll also be taking you behind the scenes of how i do things on the unicorn factory and how i use templates to really streamline the process of creating these marketing campaigns i'll show you how you can design a template and how you can then just update the content for all of your upcoming campaigns to really save time in the creation of these emails now as soon as we're done with mailer Lite, we're going to be diving into mailer send and i think for a lot of you mailer send is probably going to be the more interesting tool because that is the tool that you're going to use for all of your transactional emails now you might be asking yourself, what is a transactional email? Now think of a transactional email as an email that someone receives as soon as a certain event happens. So say for example, you buy something off an online store, you will receive a receipt from that store that you have made a purchase. That email gets sent when a particular event happens and those emails are referred to as transactional emails. And so as you can probably imagine, there'll be a lot of use cases for using transactional emails for your marketplace or directory. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be taking you behind the scenes of MailerSend, which is the transactional email tool that I use and show you how it all works. So I'll be taking you through the process of creating a templated transactional email inside of MailerSend that has dynamic variables that you can then populate with information that you may have stored inside of Airtable or Webflow or whatever else you're using to trigger this workflow. And I'll then show you some of the most popular workflows that I use on the Unicorn Factory to do things like send out templated emails for when someone receives a lead, for when someone signs up and a whole bunch of things like that. Now, before we dive into the weeds of it all, I want to quickly clarify the most important thing that you'll need to understand before we dive into this, which is what the difference is between a marketing campaign email and a transactional emails. Now, I did quickly touch on it when I was explaining how I use MailerSend, but I wanted to give you a quick little overview to actually show you how this looks in action. Now, I'm in my email marketing tools right now. This one here is MailerLite, and the other one here is MailerSend. Now, MailerLite is the tool that I use to send out marketing emails. And typically, when I send out marketing emails, they go out to all of the freelancers that sit inside of a particular group. So I have a group for freelancers who are currently active members. I have a group for freelancers who have um, canceled their membership. I've got a group of freelancers who have not yet selected a membership. And depending on the type of information that I want to send them, I can actually just set it up inside of a tool like MailerLite and then send out the information all at once. What that means is that you can't actually really send it to one person at one particular time. It all just kind of goes out at the same time. And so I typically use it for things like this. So whenever I want to announce that we've got a new feature on the Unicorn Factory or we're running a workshop or anything that is relevant to everyone in the community, I typically use a tool like MailerLite. Now, there are a lot of different... Um, 
things that you can do with it. You can populate it with dynamic information that might be stored inside of Airtable. So if you want to personalize your email, like say, hi, Connor, you can do that as well. But typically you will not see as much dynamic content in these types of emails. It's usually content that will fit everyone. And so you can see here an example of an email that I sent where I announced that we're running a live workshop inside of our circle community. And this is really the fastest and easiest way to contact everyone within a group. Transactional emails, on the other hand, are very personalized emails for a particular person at a particular time. And they are usually triggered based off certain types of events happening. Now, an example of that on the Unicorn Factory is when a freelancer receives a lead. What I can do is create a template, populate that template with dynamic information that applies to that particular event. So in this case, when a lead is received, I can populate it with information about a certain customer, their email, all that type of stuff. And then it gets sent through to that particular freelancer immediately. And so here's an example of a transactional email where I have basically forwarded on all of the information that was provided by a customer to a freelancer. And you can see that you can make these emails look nice and professional. You can populate it with dynamic links. You can also, you know, really just personalize it in ways that you typically wouldn't do with a marketing email. And more importantly, you can send it out immediately. Another example of a transactional email is when a job is posted to our job board. Now, what I want to do is make sure that the email is sent to someone who is a good fit for the project. And so what I typically do is I look up whether or not someone has a certain skill or service attached to their profile. And then if it is attached to their profile, I send them a personalized email like this that contains all of the dynamic information about the job. Now, the beauty about these tools is is that you can seamlessly integrate them with either Zapier or with Make. And I typically have these dynamic emails tied into whatever workflow I'm working on at the time. And so throughout all of this, I'm gonna be showing you how exactly you set up these templates, how you then um, basically create the dynamic variables and how you then use a tool like Make to then dynamically populate those variables with information that may sit inside of Airtable or whatever other tool you're using. Now, in order for you to get the most out of using these tools, I actually recommend building along to what I'm showing you. Now, obviously, everyone's going to have different use cases for MailerLite or MailerSend. I just recommend just building along to one particular workflow, and that will give you an understanding of how you can tie those workflows into whatever your use case might be. If you do find yourself in a situation where you feel like you have a unique use case that you're trying to solve for, and it's not particularly clear where you should get started, then just let me know in the comments section or on Slack and I will be sure to explain what the best approach is with it. Other than that, get your accounts ready if you haven't already and I look forward to seeing you in the first video.